If he's healthy, he's going to start. He practices two days in a row, and uh, you know, I think he's getting better every day. Uh, I visited with Clint earlier today, and he had been in treatment already twice, uh, and that was the first part of the morning. So, you know, he's doing everything in his power to be ready to play. How is Kawan? Kawan will play. He uh, ran eight gases uh, during practice to, to get to see about his conditioning, and so he'll be ready to play. We, you know, we just got to get him caught up what we're doing. Uh, mainly on defense, but he's ready to play. Too early to tell yet if JD will be able to play Saturday. No, I think he'll play based on what we've seen uh, the last two days. You know, he's gotten better. Like I said, he's still getting a lot of treatment, and he's, he'll continue to get a lot of treatment. But I think he'll play. What about a TJ Gurley's? A little bit of an ankle problem. No, TJ's fine. TJ's fine. How much can just sitting a week for JD kind of help him heal up a little bit? Well, again, I, you know, if you got to pull muscle in your rib, is you know, and Clint says the only thing you can do for it is, is treatment and. You know, rest is what helps it. So, uh, apparently, you know, it helped him to where he's able to practice on uh, Wednesday and then he practiced again today. So, more, more than the rib, though, obviously the foot, too. I mean, does that time off kind of help everything? Again, you know, he's, he got some, some nicks and some nags, some injuries that he's had. But, you know, JD is, uh, is a competitive young man. And I think, you know, all the attention that him not playing in Kentucky game that he got, I think that, you know, it's, it's going to be motivation. Uh, uh, Personnel-wise this week, are you all ready to announce any of those? Do you, do you have a feel for any, any defensive switches? I think there'll be some changes. Uh, I got a visit with uh, the entire defensive staff. We said we would watch and see how they practice, who would start. And so we'll make those determinations after we watch this practice. But there are definitely going to be some changes. Can you put a finger on what's happened the last three games? I mean, looking at the film, I mean, is it just... It's execution. Fundamentals, fundamentals? fundamentals execution. You know, again, you, you got two veteran... Uh, young men that blew man-to-man -man assignments that you wouldn't expect uh, happen late in the ball game to give up, you know, big plays. And you know, if, if they do what they're supposed to do, then we're going to be fine. And you know, we're always going to have some mental breakdown with young linebackers and stuff like that. But I don't expect the veteran uh, perimeter guy to to bust the coverage when it comes to man-to-man. -to -man. Well, I mean, how much of a change in scheme is it to face a primarily running team, especially kind of a two-back team? Again, it's you know, you got to make sure that you you got enough up there to stop the run and. Uh, you know, we don't face a lot of those teams. You know, everybody's spread offense these days. And, you know, we, I think the last team we played similar to this is going to be when we played LSU last year down there. And they got into, you know, a lot of two tight ends, two back sets, and, and ran the football. So that's what Arkansas does. And so we got to make sure we got enough in the box to stop the run. What do you, what do you see on film from, from Alex Collins? What, what, what makes him as a freshman so good in this league? You know, I think they got two good backs. You know, I think 32 is a good back, too. Uh, you know, he's fast. He's quick. He didn't get. A tackle by the first guy a lot of times. He makes people miss. And, uh, you know, he's got great vision. Great vision. Is this, um, this kind of game, does it give kind of a break to the secondary, at least on paper, because they're going to be running the ball? Might give them a break physically, but it's not going to give them a break mentally because, again, we're going to involve our secondary and stop and run. But also, you got to make sure you put your eyes in the right place. You know, I just got through looking at, you know, their breakout pass tape, and a lot of big passes has happened. You know, those guys are selling out on the run, selling out on the run, and then here they go, they go making somebody buy you. So we got to do a great job mentally uh, focusing on our tasks. And, and uh, then when it's called for us to be, so, show up and run support, we have to do that.